Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss the problem of ordinary differential equation from CSI and NIT December 2017. Example number 41 from booklet A which is of marks 3. Consider the differential equation x minus 1 y double dash plus x y dash plus 1 by x into y equal to 0. Then x is equal to 1 is the only singular point. Second option x is equal to 0 is the only singular point. Third option, both x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 are singular points. And the fourth option, neither x is equal to 0 nor x is equal to 1 are singular points. This problem is about singular point of differential equation. So first we recall the concept of singular points. So general form of differential equation, pxy double dash plus qxy dash plus rxy equal to 0. Now convert into this standard form. By dividing the coefficient of y double dash which is px then we have y double dash plus qx divided by pxy dash plus rx divided by pxy equal to 0. Then any point x is equal to x0 is said to be ordinary point if the rational polynomial qx divided by px and rx divided by px are analytic at x is equal to x0. That means both these rational polynomials are analytic at x is equal to x0 then it is called ordinary point otherwise it is called singular point that means if at least one of them is non-analytic then the point is called singular point now for the given differential equation x minus 1 y double dash plus x y dash plus 1 divided by x into y equal to 0 now convert into a standard form by dividing the coefficient of y double dash which is x minus 1 we have y double dash plus x divided by x minus 1 y dash plus 1 divided by x into x minus 1 y equal to 0. Now the first rational polynomial qx divided by px is equal to x divided by x minus 1. This polynomial is not analytic at x is equal to 1 because px will be 0 when x is equal to 1. And the another polynomial rx divided by px which is 1 divided by x into x minus 1 is not analytic when x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. If you put x is equal to 0 then polynomial will be infinity and x is equal to 1 then polynomial will be infinity. Therefore the ordinary differential equation has two singular points x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. And which is the option number 3. Therefore, third option both x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1 are singular point is correct. Example number 42 from booklet A which is of marks 3. Let D denote the unit disk given by xy such that x square plus y square less than equal to 1. And let DC be its complement in the plane the partial differential equation x square minus 1 del square u by del x square plus 2y del square u by del x del y minus del square u by del y square equal to 0 is first option parabolic for all xy belongs to dc hyperbolic for all xy belongs to d third option hyperbolic for all xy belongs to dc and parabolic for all xy belongs to d so this problem is about the classification of partial differential equation. So first we are going to understand the classification of partial differential equation. The general form of partial differential equation is R del square root by del x square plus S del square root by del x del y plus T del square root by del y square f of x, y, z, p, q equal to 0. Then Equation is said to be elliptic at a point x, y in D if s square minus 4rt less than 0 where s is a coefficient of del square u by del x del y, r is a coefficient of del square u by del x square and t is a coefficient of del square u by del y square. Then equation is parabolic at a point x, y in D if s square minus 4rt equal to 0 
थर्ड ऑप्शन हाइपरबोलिक एट ए पॉइंट एक्स वाई इन डी इफ ए स्क्वायर माइनस फोर आर टी ग्रेटर देन जीरो ना फॉर द गिवन पार्शियल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इफ यू कंपेयर विद द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्म देन आर इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वन एस इज इक्वल टू टू वाई एंड टी इक्वल टू माइनस वन नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एस स्क्वायर माइनस फोर आर टी सो एस इज इक्वल टू टू वाई सो स्क्वायर ऑफ टू वाई माइनस फोर टाइम्स आर इज इक्वल टू एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वन एंड टी इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन सो आफ्टर द सिंप्लीफिकेशन वी हैव फोर टाइम्स वाई स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वन नाउ दिस पुल नो मेल फोर वाई स्क्वायर प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर माइनस वन ग्रेटर देन जीरो इफ ऑल एक्स वाई बिलोंग्स टू dc where dc is complement of x square plus y square less than equal to 1 which is x square plus y square greater than 1 therefore x square plus y square minus 1 greater than 0 hence x square minus 4rt greater than 0 for all xy belongs to dc therefore the equation is hyperbolic at all the point of dc and Which is the option number three? Therefore, third answer is correct. Example number forty-three from booklet A, marks three. The set of real numbers lambda for which the boundary value problem d square y by d x square plus lambda y equal to zero with the boundary value y of zero is equal to zero and y of pi equal to zero as non-trivial solution is first first option integral minus infinity to zero second option set square root n Such that n is a positive integer. Third option, n square. Such that n is positive integer. And the fourth option are set of real numbers. So first we are going to find the solution of ordinary differential equation d square y by dx square plus lambda y equal to zero. Corresponding auxiliary equation m square plus lambda equal to zero. The roots of the auxiliary equation depend on the value of lambda. Case one, lambda less than zero. implies lambda is equal to minus n square where n is any real number we can rewrite auxiliary equation in the form m square is equal to minus lambda therefore m square is equal to n square as lambda equal to minus n square therefore m has to value m equal to plus or minus n and hence corresponding solution of given differential equation is c1 e power nx plus c2 e power minus nx now the boundary value First boundary value y of zero is equal to zero. That means y equal to zero when x is equal to zero. So y equal to zero. C one e power zero. One plus c two e power zero is also one. Therefore c one plus c two equal to zero. Hence we have c two is equal to minus one. Second boundary condition y of pi equal to zero. That means y equal to zero when x is equal to pi. Therefore zero is equal to c one e power. n pi plus c2 e power minus n pi but c2 is equal to minus c1 so 0 is equal to c1 e power n pi minus c1 e power minus n pi you can rewrite c1 into e power n pi minus e power minus n pi as a product of two number equal to 0 therefore c1 equal to 0 or e power n pi minus e power minus n pi equal to 0 suppose e power n pi minus e power minus n pi equal to zero. So we can rewrite the equation e power two n pi equal to zero. But it is possible only when n equal to zero. If n equal to zero and lambda equal to minus n square, therefore lambda equal to zero. But we already assume that lambda is negative number. Therefore c one must be zero because the other number is not zero. For lambda less than zero. If c1 equal to zero, therefore c2 equal to minus c1, so c2 is also zero, and c1 c2 zero, so y equal to zero, which is a trivial solution. But we are interested in the non-trivial solution. So for lambda less than zero, we cannot get any non-trivial solution. Case two, lambda equal to zero, therefore m square is equal to zero, therefore m is equal to zero zero, repeated solution. Therefore y equal to c1 plus c2x. 
is a corresponding solution of given differential equation. Boundary value y of 0 is equal to 0. 0 is equal to c1 plus c2 into 0, so c1 equal to 0. y of pi equal to 0, therefore x is equal to pi, so 0 is equal to c1 plus c2 pi, but c1 is already 0, therefore c2 pi equal to 0, hence c2 is equal to 0. Therefore c1 and c2 both are 0, so y equal to 0, therefore we will have trivial solution when lambda equal to 0. So for lambda equal to 0, we cannot get any non-trivial solution. Case 3, lambda greater than 0. So lambda equal to n square for any real number n. So m square is equal to minus lambda. So m square is equal to minus n square. Therefore, m is equal to plus or minus ni. We have complex solution. And corresponding solution of differential equation is c1 cos nx plus c2 sin nx. Now boundary values, y equal to 0 when x is equal to 0, so substitute x is equal to 0, then we have 0 is equal to c1, cos 0 is equal to 1 and sin 0 is equal to 0, therefore c1 equal to 0, y of pi equal to 0, that means substitute x is equal to pi and y equal to 0, therefore we have 0 is equal to c1 cos n pi plus c2 sin n pi. But c1 is already 0, therefore we have only one term, 0 is equal to c2 sin n pi. We are interested in the non-trivial solution, 0 is equal to sin n pi, therefore it is possible for all integer value of n, that means n is an integer, therefore lambda is equal to n square is an integer, hence which is the third option where n square says that n is a positive integer n is positive or negative integer, we will have the same set. Therefore, third option, n square says that n is a positive integer is a correct answer. Example number 44, booklet A marks 3. Let uxt be the solution of initial value problem, utt minus uxx is equal to 0, with the initial value ux0 is equal to x cube and utx0 is equal to sin x. Then Value of u at pi pi is first option 4 pi cube, second option pi cube, third option 0 and the fourth option 4. Here we are going to discuss the solution method of partial differential equation. Differential operator method. For the simplicity, we can write down the differential equation in the form of uxx minus utt equal to 0. Differential operator d which represent the partial derivative of function with respect to x and d dash represent the partial derivative of function with respect to t. Then the partial differential equation can be written in the form of operator d square minus d dash square u equal to 0. Now assume d is equal to m and d dash is equal to 1. Then we have auxiliary equation m square minus 1 equal to 0. Now the roots of auxiliary equation are 1 and minus 1. Therefore, the solution uxt is equal to function phi 1 x plus m1 t plus function phi 2 x plus m2 t where m1 m2 are the roots of the auxiliary equation which is 1 and minus 1. Therefore, uxt is equal to phi 1 x plus t plus phi 2 x minus t where m1 equal to 1 and m2 is equal to minus 1 is a solution of given differential equation. Now, initial values. First initial value u of x0 is equal to x cube. So, evaluate uxt when t equal to 0. Then we have u of x0 is equal to phi 1 x plus phi 2 x because t is equal to 0. ux0 is equal to x cube. Therefore, we have x cube is equal to phi 1 x plus phi 2 x. First equation. Now, second initial condition u2 x0 is equal to sin x. Differentiate u with respect to t. Then we have phi 1 dash 
x plus t minus phi 2 dash x minus t. Evaluate at t equal to 0. Then we have phi 1 dash x minus phi 2 dash x. Utx0 is equal to sin x. Therefore, we have sin x is equal to phi 1 dash x minus phi 2 dash x. Integrate both sides with respect to x. We have minus cos x is equal to phi 1 x minus phi 2 x. Therefore, we have two equation x cube is equal to phi 1 x plus phi 2 x and minus cos x is equal to phi 1 x minus phi 2 x. Using these two equation, we are able to find the value of phi 1 and phi 2. Phi 1 equal to x cube minus cos x divided by 2 and phi 2 x is equal to x cube plus cos x divided by 2. Now phi 1 is a function of x plus t and phi 2 is a function of x minus t. So in the function phi 1, just x replaced by x plus t, then phi 1 of x plus t is equal to x plus t cube minus cos x plus t divided by 2. And in phi 2, x replaced by x minus t, therefore we have phi 2 x minus t equal to x minus t cube plus cos x minus t divided by 2. Therefore, uxt is equal to x plus t cube minus cos x plus t divided by 2 plus x minus t cube plus cos x minus t divided by 2. This is a solution of initial value problem. Now, we want to evaluate u at pi pi. That means x is equal to pi and t equal to find the solution. We have u pi pi equal to pi plus pi cube minus cos pi plus pi divided by 2 plus pi minus pi cube plus cos pi minus pi divided by 2. Cos pi plus pi cos 2 pi has value 1 and cos pi minus pi that means cos 0 has also value 1. Then we have 8 pi cube minus 1 pi minus pi 0 plus 1 minus 1 plus 1 cancel 8 pi cube divided by 2 is equal to 4 pi cube which is the first option and it is the correct answer. Thanks for watching. For more videos like share subscribe press the bell icon of next gen mess.